Tell us about your lineup uh, tonight. Uh, we'll make two game time decisions. I'll put a one forward in and one defenseman. So we'll pull one defenseman out after the warm up and uh, one forward also. It means Mark Mathot is probably questionable. He game can time. play. He can play. It's just I, I just got to make a decision. I got to go back down and see how his uh, skating went. Talk to the therapist. But uh, if it was game seven, he'd be playing 100%. It's just now. Uh, do we want to give him a few more days? Every day has made a gigantic difference, so I just want to make sure I know exactly where it's at before I make my decision. And with the forwards, everybody's healthy, uh, everyone. So we, we have a lot of guys that are uh, uh, good to play, and i got to make a hard decision after warm-up. Just wondering um, how you have seen the Bruins change since Bruce Cassidy took over, if you've seen any change at all, and it's been the last three games. No, to be honest with you, it's the same players. I think it's the same team. Uh, they might have got some enthusiasm, I guess, after the change, but to be honest with you, looking at our first game against them and looking at the last games, uh, it's a very similar team. Does hard decision up front mean you're contemplating maybe taking out uh, a veteran forward? tonight well most of our guys are veterans so like a real veteran you want to know if zinger's playing you want to know if zinger's playing right he's the only really <laughs> yeah we're right now i i, I got to go back down and uh and talk with the staff and i'll make a decision after warm-up yeah. keep it going there's there's lots of guys available now yeah first time of the year i have to make a decision so i guess you'll know if i'm smart or not now you you talked a lot about going over video and whatnot in the last couple of days, what needs to change for your team to be successful here as we start at home game one? I don't think we have to change anything. I think it's, we've had a pretty, you know, we're 4 0 against Boston, so I'm not looking to change uh, 50,000 things and break something that uh, is not broken. But at the same time, I'm aware that uh, every game was extremely close. They got a really good team. They got a lot of guys that have had uh, great playoff experiences. Um, so if you look at the number of games uh, in terms of playoff experience, they have the upper hand on us in that respect. Uh, just uh, some of those players that have gone uh, basically almost every year and uh, have gone far. Uh, but we have a lot of players that have playoff experience. Um, so I don't think I'm looking at the number of games in the playoffs, but I think I'm looking at the number of playoffs, uh, players that have played in the playoffs. We got a lot of that. and. That does come into consideration uh, in who we're going to choose tonight because we know that the first game there's usually a bit more emotion and uh, nervous energy. And as the season, uh, the season starts, the series goes on. Uh, from my experience, is you know guys uh, a, a little bit more focused on the task than they are about the big picture. I think right now it's everybody's excited, uh, but we got to be excited and very focused. So for us, it's we're going to adjust. Uh, on a few things that we want to adjust to, but really, we're not going to change who we are. We're, we're going to go with our strengths and, and our habits. Uh, they've, they've taken us through the year, and uh, we've been saying it since day one. We've played playoff hockey since day one. That was, the, that was my speech in training camp. We're not going to play a certain way and then switch it on in the playoffs another way. It's our habits have been built on what we need in the playoffs. So that's why in that respect, to answer your question, we're not looking at making big changes. And if they, they make changes and they adjust to things that give us uh, problems, we'll deal with that then. Coach, I uh, just on a personal uh, level. They pushed you out of there, right? Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> uh, just on a personal level for you, uh, your first trip back to the playoffs against the Bruins, who you faced your last time. Is there, I guess, how long did it take you to get that Bruin logo out of your nightmares? And, and uh, just what do you remember from that series? Well, I remember it's a totally different uh, team. I'm coaching a different team and coaching totally different players. They got a few guys that are, that are still there. Um, and is it motivating, not motivating? For me, it's all in the past. It's, it's, you know, if I have those nightmares, they're about back then. They're not about now. Uh, right now, for me, it's all about today. It's not even about the series. I don't think anybody's won four games the same day 
and it's it's just one game and so first period right now we need to manage that really well with the players that we've got so my experience right now is not about where i was it's about what i i drew from that um but for our players and for our situation now so it's a totally different um situation and uh i can't bring my pass into this it seems pretty obvious that Carlson is laboring a bit on the ice from the morning skate. Will that affect how much you use? Oh, he just needed to readjust his taping, so there was no, there was no issue. One hundred fifty percent ready. Is there any issue of you? How he much could have you played play this? Him? He could have played this weekend, so it was it was our decision to uh, keep him out. So there's no, he's one hundred percent ready. I just said one hundred and fifty, so I go back to one hundred. So let's make it one hundred and twenty-five. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Coach, yes. Euh, avant le premier match de la saison, c'est Crawford qui avait dirigé l'entraînement. Puis à ce moment-là, tu avais, avais mentionné que tu ne voulais pas donner l'impression à tes joueurs d'être sur leur talon. Euh, As-tu l'impression, est-ce que c'est la raison pour laquelle aujourd'hui Crawford a dirigé le premier entraînement avant les séries? Non, c'est parce qu'il n'y avait aucun enseignement donné un matin, c'était un échauffement. On a, on a juste fait trois drills, euh, on n'a pas besoin de penser, je n'ai pas besoin d'être là. Hier, j'étais là parce qu'on avait des choses spécifiques qu'on voulait pratiquer. Euh, mais aujourd'hui, regarde, j'ai pas besoin de sa glace, trois drills qui veulent rien dire. Oh, one more, Bruce. Chris Weidman will play his first playoff game tonight. What would be your advice to him? Keep it simple. It's a simple, focused, and, uh, you know, my experiences, whether it's playoffs or the first game of the year or, you know, the game to make you clinch whatever, It's, it's always manage your emotions and build your game because you start simple. That's it. The rest, it's just don't be, don't be somebody else. Be, be Chris Weidman because you've been good all year. And it's the same. There's boards. There's a red line in the middle. I think the nets will still be in the middle today. And pretty sure there'll be some blue lines at the same spot. And, and it'll be the same game. It's just maybe more intense. Uh, and as the season, uh, season ser series goes on, Uh, animosities grow, emotion grows, you play the same players all the time, it's a chess match, but really you're, you're playing with the same players as all year long and you're playing against the same team you've played during the season. So don't make it, uh, don't make it uh, bigger than it is. Yes. Uh, Guy, est-ce que vous avez une entente avec les Bruins pour regarder ou ne pas regarder les entraînements ou les, les parties matinales? Les, les, bon, les matinales, les... Garde, les matinales, tu n'as jamais vraiment de d'entendre là-dessus. Ma matinale, journée de game, premièrement, tu pratiques presque jamais rien de spécifique. C'est un échauffement, comme un matin. Euh, puis les matchs, les journées qui ne sont pas des journées de match, habituellement, c'est un, une entente sans même se le dire que, garde, tu fais ton affaire, on fait notre affaire, puis euh, on se rend compte au game day. Fait que, euh, je ne vois pas pourquoi ça changerait, mais garde, est-ce que j'ai parlé avec leur entraîneur? Pas du tout. Mais nous, on n'ira pas voir leurs entraînements quand ce n'est pas une journée de match. C'est juste, juste du respect. 